everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about movies how about clicking that subscribe button so for today's ranking video we're gonna talk about 10 ways that final destination fuck with me death will come for you if you don't die the way that you're supposed to die. I want to jump on here really quick before I officially start this ranking. As I was editing, I decided that I wanted to use actual clips from the movie. So I just want to say this is more of a viewer discretion is advised type of video. This is your warning that you're going to see um, 10, 10 deaths. Let's go ahead and start off this list. Coming in in 10th place would be from part three, the subway scene. Technically speaking here in Texas, we don't have subways, but we do have the dark train. And there is a particular part, I think it's when it's going downtown that it does go underground. So that's like my subway portion of it. I mean, it's literally like a quick in and out, but you're underground. The few times that I do get on the train, I start thinking, oh my God, this is going to derail. There's gonna be a rat messing with some shit. But moving on to number nine, and that would be from part four, the swimming pool. Now y'all remember when he went down there, he was getting sucked through that hole. Nobody knew that he was down there, mind you, because you know, he knew how to hold his breath a lot. I mean, I would die, well, like I would drown. I'm not even gonna, like I can't hold my breath like for shit. So I would drown first, and then that vacuum shit would like suck me in. That's terrible way to go you guys really is the next place would be another death from part four the lawnmower remember when she came out of the freaking hair salon talk about i got my eye on you and then the freaking lawnmower like shot like a rock through her face i try to avoid going outside whenever somebody's cutting the yard i literally am just like as if i'm gonna see this damn like rock shooting at my face but like i have a fear that is gonna give me. And then seventh place would be from part three, the drive through scene. I mean, could it get any worse, you guys? I mean, you're hungry. Get, get off my take on food. Well, if you're new, girl can eat, you guys. If you ever remember my 1917 film, I was so sad when that guy died and he had been hungry the whole damn movie before until he died. Such a way to go, you guys. Like, you're hungry. And like, you're just there chilling, freaking drive through, trying to get your food. He was there already at the window when that car came hit and then like boom like yeah yeah it's not good stuff not think it decapitated him but talking about the head let's go ahead and move on to number six which would be from part two the elevator scene the poor lady got her head like stuck in the elevator or that hook guy her head got chopped off yeah i mean not only did final destination like scare me of being on the elevator but also that movie devil I know it's a scary movie, you guys. I mean, I don't like scary movies, but I've seen scary movies. If you have not seen Devil, you guys, it's like five or six people get stuck in the freaking elevator. Mind you, I'm like claustrophobic. Spoiler alert on Devil, the old lady is freaking Devil. So, whenever I'm in the elevator and there's an old lady in the elevator, in my head, I'm just like, she's the Devil. I believe Final Destination like fucked me up first. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, that movie's older than this one. I, uh, I try to like, jump right out of the elevator because I'm like, you ain't gonna get me. Not today, death. Not today. But coming in in fifth place would be part five, laser eye. No lie, you guys. Because of this movie is why I do not get laser eye surgery. Like, I am like blind as a bat. But I refuse to get a laser eye because I have a legitimate fear that what happened to that girl in Final Destination is gonna happen to me. Like I know that the laser eye technically didn't kill her, but like her eyeball got like burnt. And then like she got out, she like, you know, fell out the damn window. But also I keep thinking like, what kind of fucking doctor would leave that shit like right on her? Like move it away, like you just don't know. And, and seriously, you guys, I had the opportunity to get laser eye surgery and I was almost, almost contemplating it. But then I said, fuck that shit. On a personal note, my eyes are kind of like jacked up and I don't qualify for laser eye surgery. And I can't wear contacts in case you're like wondering why don't you just wear contacts. My eyeballs do not like contacts anymore. So glasses it is for me. In fourth place would be from part three of the roller coaster. Now, I still get on roller coasters, not as much 
as before but because again on a personal note i my body i just i can't handle roller coasters i get such terrible terrible vertigo that i can do three rides max because if i go for that fourth one it's we gotta go home either way it goes whenever i do get on rides now i really don't enjoy them as much anymore like i don't even like scream or anything i'm just like i'm gonna die i'm gonna die coming in in third place would be from part five as well and this is the 3d movie and you guys it took me like forever to actually be able to adjust my eyes to see 3d movies i know you're probably like what the fuck stephanie like you just put on the fucking glasses no you guys you don't just put on the fucking glasses in, in, in my case i think my sister one of my sisters is the same way too this is this is literally me you guys when I was watching a 3D movie no joke you guys I, I could not adjust my eyes properly around the time that i was finally able to adjust my eyes to see 3d i know you guys don't like at me about the 3d situation it is it is what it is what matters is that now my eyes adjust well and i can see 3d movies but if we are watching some sort of like action movie or some kind of movie where there is an explosion i'm literally like is the screen gonna explode? This is the end. But the last two are both from part two. In second place would be the water bottle. No joke, you guys, if the water bottle tends to like fall over here where I'm driving, I remove my foot off the pedal to start off with. I'm just like with my foot, like going across the bottom, like you know, making sure the water bottle's not there. And I'm just like, final destination, final destination with my foot. Terrible, you guys. Who else is like that too, you guys? But coming in in first place, like I said, it would be awesome for part two. And I feel like this is everybody's fear besides the airplane. You would think I would be more afraid of the airplane. It took me the fear of planes, you guys, like was real for me. But on this decision didn't help it, but it didn't make it on my list. It didn't. These other things honestly freaked me a little bit more. Number one would be the 18-wheeler. Yeah, oh no, don't even lie. That when you're driving and you happen to be behind a freaking 18-wheeler that has like some sort of logs on there, not just logs, but like pipes, you will try to bypass that fucking 18-wheeler. That could happen the most because, you know, we're always on the freaking freeway. If you happen to be a truck driver w watching this, do you like to fuck with people? <laughs> When you have like logs or pipes or just something like that because you're like yep you're thinking final destination so i'm not gonna lie you guys if i was a truck driver and i had something like that i'd be just like going and i'm like uh, you're thinking final destination little car yeah you guys i get a little twisty at times like that but since i am you know one of the tiny little cars yep i get scared this was a fun list to do um i know the title is like terrible i really can't think of a good title you can let me know down below i'll change it if i like what your suggestion is i will change my title but what i have right now which is terrible title is 10 ways that final destination continues to mess with my life and also let me know how final destination has messed with your life because you know it has if you've seen the movie obviously uh, of course before you guys took out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye